morning. Please rise.
for what it costs to do that, uh, to, to require those legal uh, research services to be provided to you free of charge. We also have a daily eclipse service that comes out that highlights the major appellate court and Supreme Court decisions that were rendered the day before. To me, that's been invaluable in my practice because while not every case every day has an application in my area of the law, clearly every week or two there is a case that pops up that I find uh, very interesting and I can click on it and print out the case and it's all there in front of me. So those are three excellent ways that you can benefit by being a member of the be accepted and admitted into the practice of law in your own Their numbers, their calculators. A painter, 
their paint, their paint brushes, a dentist, their dental tools, and the same with the doctor. But as lawyers, we have no real tools. We only have our reputation for truthfulness and honesty, our word. As you begin practicing law, remember that. You will meet up with the same judges and the same lawyers often. You want them to be able to trust your word, just as you should be able to trust theirs. If you begin your career any other way, that reputation will follow you throughout all of your days as a lawyer. You want your reputation to be stellar, to be that of a gentleman or a gentlewoman. That's all we have, our only tool, our reputation our word, protected. There were two young lawyers in a courtroom one day awaiting their case to be called, and an elderly lawyer entered the courtroom and approached them. The one young lawyer knew him and said, oh, Mr. Johns, come on over here. I'd like you to meet my adversary, Tim. The older gentleman said, he is not your adversary. He is your colleague. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, if you remember that, you will be just fine. The life of a judge is much easier if those who appear before him or her conduct themselves as colleagues as opposed to adversaries. It will make our jobs that much easier and it will make your experience much more pleasurable. As you are about to begin your career, please know that there are many lawyers out there ready, willing, and able to mentor you. Reach out to them. Lawyers love to help new lawyers. And there is a mentor program through the Illinois Supreme Court that you will learn about. I can assure you also that the judges in this state are approachable and willing to share their wisdom. Parents, we will keep an eye on them for you. From the bottom of my heart, I want to wish each of you the best of luck in your life and in your legal career. May God bless you today and always. I'll see you in the end. <laughs>
Today you truly do join a noble profession. Uh, and I'm sure that you are all very proud of all that you have accomplished, accomplished um, throughout your lives. We know that withstanding the rigors of law school and passing the bar exam takes a tremendous effort. You are now licensed to practice law and you're authorized to represent clients. With, with this authority comes great responsibility. The practice of law is about service. It's all about service. Service to your client, service to the law, service to our system. Beyond your immediate duty to your clients, you have a larger and wider sphere of duty to our justice system to support and maintain the priceless value that our system holds for all our citizens. We settle disputes in the courtroom, exchanging correspondence without bloodshed, something that is part of the heritage of this country, and lawyers uphold that heritage. The vital role that lawyers play in the preservation of our system and our democracy is passed on to you today. Um, you are members of this great profession. No matter where your legal career takes you, whether it's in private practice, government service, or in the business world, you will have opportunities, as Justice Shotsky pointed out, to make a real difference in the lives of your clients. Many of you will make differences not just in the lives of your clients, but in your communities in our society as a whole by coming up with new ideas. I know that many of you, probably most of you, are saddled with significant college debt. And your first job um, in the legal profession may not be the job of your dreams. But believe me, if you work hard and you abide by our ethical rules and demonstrate respect for everyone, including your adversaries, you will find personal fulfillment and compensation to pay off those student loans and have a great life. By all means, as Mr. Dorsey said, take advantage of the free training offered by the Illinois State Bar Association, especially the free stuff, those 15 hours come in handy. Join your local bar association um, and the new lawyer section. You'll make new friends and you'll find new opportunities, opportunities that you weren't aware of. And also seek out a mentor through the ISBA mentorship program or your local bar association. A mentor will help you figure out the day-to-day -day struggles of the practice of law and the common sense side of the practice. Most important, I want to emphasize the obligation that you have to steadfastly abide by the ethical obligations of our profession. Remember this, and I was told this a long time ago uh, by a sage judge who reminded me, no case and no client is worth ruining your career or your reputation. Your reputation is everything. You will be judged not only by what you say, by, by, but by what you do. A reputation for solid integrity will be your greatest asset. Be a good listener, and remember, there are no widgets in this business. Every case has a story, every client has a story, every victim has a story. And every client deserves competent professional representation. Also remember this, too many lawyers, including many of my friends, make a mistake of putting all of their energy uh, into their work. They turn sometimes to drugs or alcohol. It's a mistake. Put your family first. Practice your faith and exercise your body as well as your mind. Get away from the office. Spend time with your families. The practice of law has changed a great deal since I took the oath many years ago. And many of the changes are positive. The information and technological revolution have given us electronic filing, uh, instant access to documents, and legal authority. However, not all of the changes are good. Do not allow technology to replace what your clients will value most. Personal contact personal interaction. One of the most common complaints about lawyers is their failure to communicate with their clients. Don't make that mistake. Return your phone calls, respond to correspondence. Uh, because your reputation will be built in large part on how you foster relationships with your clients, with your colleagues, with the court. And believe me, in this profession, word travels fast. Why lawyers like to talk. 
When I was in high school, um, I, had, I attended, I would go to estate sales and I grabbed a little book once from, from my mom. And the, the title of the book was, was How to Argue and Win. It was by a uh, 20th century, early 20th century professor at Yale. Um, and Mr. Kleiser, the, the author, um, made a list, a good list, on concise rules for a lawyer. I'm not going to read all of them, but just a few of them, I think, that all my colleagues would, would agree with. In your professional life and in your private life, be dignified. Don't quibble. Get to the point. Don't threaten. Conceal your desire to win. Shouting is not eloquence. Treat everyone with respect. And always familiarize yourself with both sides of the argument. Make common sense the basis for your points. Never abuse an opponent or a witness. Cultivate the manner of fact of speaking. It is our hope, my hope, and I know my colleague agree, my colleagues agree, that when you enter this profession, you should enter it with the obligation to make a real difference in the lives of your clients. Your tool is the justice system. Be a good steward. Embrace changes that will improve our system of justice. And make sure that during the course of your careers, you carry that torch, which is now passed on to you. I wish all of you the very best today uh, and in your careers. On behalf of my colleagues and the entire judiciary, congratulations and good luck. And please join us for the reception hosted by the ISBA outside the auditorium. Mr. Marshall, the court is adjourned. Thank you all. Congratulations. <laughs>